looks very shiny today. Is that good shiny or does it just look gross? I literally just washed my hair. It just looks shiny. We're just shining today. Okay, hey, it's me. <coughs> today is part two of my art room tour. Part two of my art room tour, which means I'm going to be showing you the rest of my art room. Yes, I've had to break this up into two parts. It's that intense. There are that many things. Last time in part one, I went through this entire back wall of shelves and cabinets, everything I showed you in detail, lots of detail. I also gave you a nice overview of the whole room and explained several things. So part one is critical information. For those of you who have already seen part one, welcome to part two. Today, I'm going to finish going around the rest of the room. I have a lot to show you. So hopefully I can pick up the pace a little bit. I'm gonna start with this area back here. Let's get into that. That's my foot. <laughs> this is the table where I do all of my painting. These two tables form a nice L shape so that I can have one main working area and then just an additional surface next to me for my supplies. I have tons of supplies within arm's reach. I have my little supply cart here. Most of my paint is very close so I can just roll over, grab my paint, bada bing. This table, I have all of this paper. This is what I use underneath whatever I'm painting. I need to like go through and get rid of the old ones. In this drawer, oh gosh, ah. Ew, this is one of the uglier places in my art room. So glad that we're seeing this first in the video. I could really do better to organize all this. Extra cords, memory cards. I call these boxes. I'm sure there's a name for it. What? It what is this? Oh, some earphone fluffies. What? I call them fluffies. I just make up words for things. These are kind of fun. Look at that little guy. To protect your cords. Hey, come here. Oh, he's cute. Over to this table. I have all of my paintbrushes here in this custom paintbrush holder that I painted in a video. And then all of my colored pencils here, nicely stored in a colored pencil holder that I haven't customized in a video yet, but maybe I will. And my pencil sharpener, which kind of sucks to say. And who is this back here? It's a lovely unicorn candle. Fire. And all of them live on this very clean mat. <laughs> I use it to protect my table because paint, paint gets, gets everywhere. everywhere. I don't mind it, honestly. It's like kind of an aesthetic. Look at all this history. It's got texture. And also sitting on this table, she is not usually here. This is just my second camera because I'm not really using my second camera for this video. Take a rest, sweetie. You deserve it. Oh, under here we have my trash can. It's a different trash can than I had before. Nobody cares. It's a little bit bigger to fit more. Trash. This upgrade. What's inside? Oh, I bought a new box. Okay, that's enough. This drawer. I try to keep this organized. I just use the stuff in here so often that it kind of becomes chaotic. Washi tape, a Georgie eraser, glue stick, pencil sharpener, chapstick. I'm addicted to chapstick. Fun fact, I need it every day, multiple times a day. Lead, my tweezers in case I got a stray hair. No. They come in handy randomly when I'm crafting. Pickle, Georgie, these little empty compartments. I never know what to do with those. What are they actually for? A bunch of Micron pens, which I actually hate Micron, so I should probably get rid of those. Box cutters, detail brushes, my dotting tools I use very often. Angry Pig, sticky notes, this dirty pencil that I used for the longest time and I told you I was throwing it away. And literally I rescued it. I don't know what is wrong with me. I keep mainly just black and white outliners. My pickle keychain. These these beautiful little things. Pencil sharpener. The colors are in the right order, but they're backwards. Why? Why? That's that. And I just have my spinny rolly chair. Fuzzy blanket. Go back to your spot. Too aggressive. And right next to my painting station is this little cart. I feel like this cart looked much better in my old art room tour. Now it's just like kind of a catch all for junk. Not that my custom nail polish is junk. I have my two camcorders here who are currently kissing. Jar opener, my earbuds, lens cap, beaded keychain. These are actually the samples of my nail polish. Final ones look much nicer. These are just the samples. Palo Taco nail polish. I just keep this here because I'm always repainting my nails, always and forever. Also, the squishy ghost. <gasps> 
that's covered in paint. Dessert sticky notes, rainbow sticky notes, my current sketchbook sketchbook. Here I have my row of masking tape, which is very depleted right now. I used to have a full rainbow of masking tape. I have these massive paint brushes that I honestly don't really use for painting. I do use these for thumbnails because they're nice and visible. Popsicle sticks, which I use to mix paint, paper towel. On this side, I have a bunch of little shrink plastic magnets that I made. They're really cute. I like them but occasionally they tick me off because like every time I bump into it, they fly and then I have to pick them up. Not that big of a deal, but still sometimes it's kind of annoying. On the second layer of this cart, oh my gosh, ugly paint water, glasses, paint palettes have not been cleaned. Down at the bottom here, hot glue gun, heat gun, my mask here. I have all of my liquid things, Mod Podge, gesso also fabric glue. I have all of my scissors. Good left-handed scissors are hard to find. I have a different relationship with each of my pairs of scissors. So that takes care of my painting area. On to this big cabinet back here. This is the same cabinet that I had in my old art room, but if you remember before, it was more long. <laughs> I decided to stack them on top of each other to save a little bit of space. I still have all my customized bins. I made an entire two part video series painting these bins, designing the little pins to go on them. So on top of my cabinet, I have my customized suitcase sitting there. It has a nice little halo because there's a light right behind it. It looks so majestic. Now this whole top row of bins. Oh my gosh, I almost burned myself. <sighs> Sorry. All of those are full of finished customized squishies. This is just my overflow collection that are not currently being displayed on the shelf. Some of them are not good enough. Some of them just don't stand up on their own. And some of them I love, they just don't fit on the shelf currently. They're each stored in an individual Ziploc bag. This just keeps them from all sticking together. Also, I've been meaning to organize these into four different categories. They're just kind of all thrown in here randomly. Moving down, I have this row of categories cabinets. Let us open it. Wah! I have a series called Dollar Store Makeovers. So this is basically all stuff from the dollar store that I've been collecting. Moving right along to this cabinet. Basically the theme for this entire row of cabinets is stuff to paint on. This is more stuff to paint on. There's frames. I think that's a jean jacket, mini canvases. And there's this one. Oh, that's a mess. I'm gonna take this out. This one is all wooden objects, really just crammed in there. Peg dolls, Russian nesting dolls, wooden eggs, wooden bowls, wooden beads. <laughs> um, maybe this isn't the best storage solution for that. And then here on the end, fuzzy little bin. Okay, this is just full of makeup sponges. Oh, oh. Oh, all right, I used to use these for little DIY squishies. And moving down, I have another row of colorful bins. This one, let's see, fluffy things that I am planning on customizing at some point. Oops, sorry, buddy. Oh my gosh, I have a problem. If you watch part one, you will fully understand that this is a problem. Okay, all right, let's not talk about that. Okay, um, I just don't wanna, I'm not, I'm not ready. This is all of my silicone molds, big and small. I used to use molds a lot more often when I was making squishies from scratch, but every once in a while they do come in handy. Speaking of molds, there's more molds. This actually I bought because I had the brilliant idea to try to make a puzzle, not realizing that the puzzle pieces don't actually go together, which is, Stupid. The rest of these though are just mostly dessert silicone molds. It goes all the way down there. There may or may not be a creature living in the darkness. Oh, you're going back in there. All right, and all the way down here, I am sitting on the floor. Very comfortable. What do we have here? These are just a bunch of craft kits that I have. And the rest of these, I installed the door myself. That's why it sucks. Oh, sparkly lady. More craft kits. Wait, what is this? Oh. I'm a sucker for art supplies with the word magic. Boop. 
in this one these two massive two minute tie-dye kits a while ago there was like a tie-dye shortage i don't want to be a victim of that again so any excuse to hoard things i will take and the last cabinet oh my gosh more two minute tie-dye i'm surprised at myself honestly and to the right of that cabinet is this little area which i call my drying station <coughs> Basically, I just throw stuff here to dry. I know, unexpected at a drying station. And I turn on these fans and it helps speed up the process. Oh, that actually feels really good. I'm really hot right now. I have a chair here, but I literally never sit in this chair. In fact, I think this might be the first time I've sat here. I know that they say watching paint dry is like one of the most exciting things that you can do, but I personally just don't get much of a thrill from it. Then on this back wall, I have a bunch of my paint pours. These four I did in a video and then these I did off camera. Those two little ones, Jordan actually did. And this little table actually has some storage built into it, which is good news for me. I have all of my yarn. It looks so pretty like this. I have a bunch of different felt. This stuff comes in handy a lot. Oh gosh. This shelf has my little sock monkey. I did not make that. The guardian of my sewing kit. And on the way bottom here is a bunch of different beads. Quick bead tour. These are all new. It it took me like an hour to organize all of these. Chunky beads, pony beads in all different colors. Oh! How? These beads are mostly from my childhood. I used to collect random beads. It took me forever to sort through all of my old beads and I tried to organize them the best I could. And moving right along, then we arrive at this door. <laughs> And inside of this closet, I keep all of my sound panels when I'm not using them, my big tripod that I actually usually have out, and a couple extra lights. All right, here we go into the closet. And boom, here they are. Woo! These are all my unpainted squishies. Most of these have been sent to me from viewers. Before, I had these in my blue couch room. I also had them in all these mismatched bins. I switched to this nice minimal white shelf and got all uniform bins. I think it looks much better and much more cleaned up now. Although this place that they're living in is not the most aesthetic place. Oh, yuck. Oh, yuck. This closet is like semi unfinished. Also, since I switched bins, it completely threw off my organizational system that I set up in that one video. I still have the old labels on there, but I should really reorganize my squishies. All right, moving on. Now all this stuff has to be put back. Hey, I'm gonna interrupt this wonderfully long art room tour. If you've been around my channel for a while and if you read the comments regularly, you may be familiar with one of the biggest comment bombs that has not been addressed until today. When I say comment bomb, I mean a comment that has been copied and pasted and reposted thousands and thousands and thousands of times over the span of months. And it is the request to put my characters into a yearbook. I don't know where this idea came from. I don't know why everyone was so attached to this idea suddenly, but of course I am here to answer your demands. Bum ba -da -dum the yearbook. <laughs> it is the Rainbow Academy, which is what we decided to call this school. It's very in-depth, okay? <laughs> There's the standard yearbook photos, all the clubs are in here. Of course, we have the superlatives in here. So much time and thought and planning went into putting this book together, and it's just like a keepsake that's just fun and something that you guys said you really wanted. If you want the yearbook, you can get it in the link in the description. This is a pre-order, which means it will only be available for a short period of time. It's a limited edition item and it will go away once the pre-order closes, which happens to be March 28th. This is only a two week pre-order. So if you wanted the yearbook, now's the time to get it. Okay, leaving the closet. And to the right of the closet, I have this little display here. I have a Squishmallow, a pickle cross stitch back there that my aunt actually made. And the pattern for that is available on my mom's Etsy store if you like to cross stitch. I have all of these little crochet animals that my mom has made for me. Pickle and Pickle's girlfriend, Pickle Pink. Oh boy. Georgie and baby Georgie. She actually does have the patterns available if you know how to crochet. I will link that below. I have some Squishmallows, this donut mug that I painted on, a big rainbow poop mug, and I have all these little Avon dolls that I've had since I was a kid. Oh, I'm sweating. 
thing. This display down here is all stuff that I've made. This garland that I made in one of my art things episodes, the pom-pom wreath. I also made an art things and the two wool paintings that I did. And then down here underneath all of that, I have my rainbow of blob shoes sitting here. I keep telling myself that this is not where they belong, but <laughs> they've been there since I made them. Which brings us to the massive art wall. I had a similar setup to this in the old house. I only put enough art up to fill up what was in the frame, but now I had so much art that I filled up the entire wall. There are a couple empty spaces, but we're working on that. And this is all art that different viewers have made for me. A lot of my face which is great, but also kind of weird to have my face in so many different places. And a lot of it is different variations of my characters. There are so many talented people that watch my videos. It's incredible. I just can't believe that anyone put this much time into something that was inspired by me or my art. This wall just like really makes me feel things. So of course we have the blue couch here that I assembled myself and it's still holding strong. Thank you. This pillow is just some of my merchandise. These two are plushies that I made. I don't normally like to tell people to subscribe, but I don't mind if the pillow does. <laughs> this blanket is more of my merchandise. This pillow is something that I made in a video ages ago. To the left of my blue couch, I have this little Ottoman Ashiba. This blanket, which is more of my merchandise. Inside of this ottoman, oh, it's a black hole. Okay, so you can't really see it all. This is just my camera bags, nothing that interesting. To the right again, this little pink chair, which I actually bought for my living room. Yes, I was gonna put a pink chair in my living room, which I still ended up doing. It's just a different pink chair. But anyway, it was much smaller than anticipated. So I just threw it down here. And next I have this other shelf. This is the same shelf as that one over there. And one of these was the original squishy shelf in my old art room. I think it was that one actually. I have more stuff on display here. I have this piece of artwork that somebody drew for me. This little thing that I customized. 2018, whoa. This little fellow, his name is Shia. He's wearing an emoji headband. Oh my gosh, I'm standing on the chair. A couple more crochet animals. This really ugly birdhouse that I painted a long time ago, like way before I was doing art videos. I was still into rainbows though. <sighs> I kind of hate it because it's kind of ugly, but also I can't get rid of it. So it's here. Rainbow Bright, she's a vintage doll. A couple other vintage stuffed animals. Oh, um, she's supposed to be sucking her thumb. That's why her mouth is like that. <laughs> I have these little dolls, which are all vintage strawberry shortcake. Someone sent me that little stuffed animal a long time ago and I love it way too much. A couple little teapots that I've collected. This is a sculpture made by Nerdy Crafter. She did a whole video making this sculpture and she actually shipped it to me so that I get to keep it. Next to that, I just have some trolls. <laughs> And then this is another sculpture. This one was made by Graveyard Loon and he made this for me. It's based off of my Mr. Hot Cocoa Squishy. And hanging from that shelf, I have a couple little things that I've made. My fruit blob backpack, this whack custom purse and all my custom ornaments that I made. And inside this closet, I have this very old art hanging on the door. I made this in college. Right inside the closet here, I have this very large Elmer's box that I got when I did that slime video. Over here, what is I? What is even that? Then I have this big paper organizer which holds all of my cardstock that I use as backgrounds when I'm painting. And blah, the hoard continues. I have a few more bins of squishies in here. This is looking rough. Also bins of my older homemade squishies that I painted a long, long time ago. This bin, which is full of mostly things that people have sent to me. This bin, which is full of bins. I like to collect organizational items. Is that normal? No. And look at this, hey, room to grow. Thank you. Next, we have this cabinet. This is a massive cabinet, and this was actually here when we moved in. And oh, look, let's look inside. This is where I store all of my mail that I've yet to open for squishy makeovers. Up here, ooh, that's soft. I have memory foam in here that I cut up and use for squishies. I have poly foam here. 
pillows? Pillow inserts? The heck? <laughs> I think I was gonna make custom pillows for my blue couch, maybe? This drawer, oh boy. It's cutey, but not. These are all things that I've started and ruined. They all have a different story, but they're all ugly. I was doing those fixing things that I've ruined videos for a while. I've set aside all of this stuff if I wanted to do that again. This is my drawer of plastic. Drop cloths back there, these little mini plastic baggies for organization or whatever. All these plastic bags, which have already been used once and I just like reuse them. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. It's just, I, I have them, okay. These wreath forms. And these are just wires for my lights. That's it for that cabinet. And finally, we come full circle. We've gone all the way around my art room. There's the main door, that's where we started. Over on the wall here, I have one of my old thrift store makeovers. I have a cork board here so I can display all of my custom pins that I've made. Most of them are shrink plastic, but I also have some made out of hot glue, some made out of plaster, some glass. I've been really into making keychains lately. This is where all of my little keychains that I've made are currently being displayed. And then there's this little cabinet. On top, I just have a little basket of small plushies. This little fellow. So so freaking cute. I have my magnet board with my custom magnets that I made. And Fred, the original inspiration for Fred the Squishy. <gasps> One of his pom-poms is loose. <gasps> No! I'll fix that later. In this drawer, I have basically things in case I ever need to send a note. And in this bottom cabinet, this is a mess. Oh, oh, it's truly, truly awful. This is where all my camera batteries are charging. And this is all batteries for the lights that are on tripods. There are cords everywhere, and I really don't understand how to keep this any neater while still keeping it functional. Close the cabinet and pretend like they're not there. And the last thing I want to show you is my whole lighting system. My dad actually helped me plan out and install. It comes with these little scrunchies. That's just what I call them. The whole thing is adjustable so I can move all the lights depending on how I need to use them. Okay, it's been another long day. I just barely finished by the end of the day to film this video. So mm -hmm. My neck really hurts for some reason. I had to move the camera 10 billion, billion times. It took a toll, but I tried to make it as fun to watch as possible. Can you tell that I'm sweating? Cause like I am sweating. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next week. Bye.